Hi there, year two children. It's Mr. Yardsley on Friday. I'm going to read the second or the end of the second part of the story we're reading about the world's worst teachers. Can you remember what they were called? There were two of them Mr. Lovey, Mrs. Dovey, Mr. and Mrs. Lovey Dovey. And they'd just got married and they'd been really, really lovey dovey about that, hadn't they? And they thought that the worst was finally over, all the staff and the children, but they were wrong, weren't they? Four months afterwards, Mr. and Mrs. Lovey Dovey went on and on and on about their special day. They really were two of the world's very worst teachers. The Lovey Dovey spent lessons forcing their pupils to watch the nine hour wedding video over and over again. They cancelled the school production of Greece and forced the children to stage Mrs. Lovey Dovey's opera about Mr. Lovey Dovey instead. They cleared all the trophies out of the glass cabinet and replaced them with Mrs. Lovey Dovey's meringue wedding dress. Oh dear, sounds really boring, doesn't it? They threw confetti over each other whenever they passed in the corridor. Worst of all, in assembly, Mr Lovey Dovey recited his 10,000 line poem every single morning. For you, my heart will forever be true. Without you, I would always be blue. Blue as in sad, not like as in a smurf. So far, so really bad. But things are about to get badder. Again, you'll find this word in your volumes dictionary, available at all good bookshops. One day, a bump appeared in Mrs. Lovey Dovey's tummy. I'm going to have a baby, baby, woo ah! I won't go into exact that exactly. The bump got bigger and bigger and bigger until one day there was no bump anymore and just a really big baby. Boo hoo hoo! He cried. Boo hoo hoo! Cried his adoring parents. That really big baby grew up to become a really big boy. Before long, he became a pupil at St. Valentine's School, in a school uniform made by his mummy, out of curtains, of course. Now there were three Lovey Doveys at the school. Mr. Lovey Dovey, Mrs. Lovey Dovey, and Master Lovey Dovey. There he is, growing up at the bottom. Of course, the boy was the ultimate teacher's pet. He received top marks in everything, 100%, 101%, 1,000,000,000%. In English classes, he would put his hand up after every single sentence his dear papa uttered. Yes, my angel sent from heaven, Mr. Lovey Dovey would ask. Daddy, waddy, yes, sonny, wunny. I just needed to tell you, well, you, that you are the most just worstest wonderful most papa poo poo in the whole wide world, you are. Mr. Lovey Dovey would burst into floods of tears. Boo! I love you so much, my heart is full to bursting. There he is, put his hand up. Then he would scamper down the corridor to find his wife, drag her out of her history classroom and into his. Yes, my hubby will be, she would ask. I just wanted to thank you for giving me the greatest gift life could ever offer. What is that? Pray please tell. This perfect, perfect child of ours. Then it would be Mrs. Lovey Dovey to turn turn to burst into tears. Boo hoo hoo! Why are you crying, Mama? The boy would ask. Because I am the happiest, wappiest mummykins in the whole wide world. This would make the boy burst into tears too. Boo hoo hoo! And I am the happiest, wappiest, sappiest son. Then the trio would all embrace and weep some more as they were the happiest, zappiest, battiest family who'd ever lived. Boo hoo hoo! Yuck, yuck, and yuck again. Lovey Doveys needed everyone to know how much they adored each other. So, one morning they hosted an assembly together. The theme they picked was Love, Sweet Love. Or as the family shuffled into the sports hall, dressed as huge pink hearts, the kids burst out laughing. Ha ha ha! Mr Lovey Dovey looked most displeased. Quite please, there's absolutely nothing funny about dressing like this. Yes there is, shouted Adoka, a joker from the back. You look like a pink wafer. Ha 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 ha. We are dressed like this, continued Mrs. Lovey Dovey, so we can celebrate our most wonderful mental love with you all. Every morning after we wake up, added Master Lovey Dovey, we spend a few hours telly wellying each other how much we love each other. So today we're going to share it with a holy woolly school. So perhaps one day you can all be as lovely wovely woo wah as us. Ugh, the whole school groaned. What terrific balls this family were. Daddy Waddy, 
Yes, Sonny Winnie, you beginny Winnie, show these nasty rotten children how wonderfully we are. Mr Lovey Dovey took a deep breath, turned to his wife and began. Every morning at dawn I say to my wife, I love you more than rainbows. Then Mrs Lovey Dovey turned to her son and said, and I say to my son, I love you more than moonbeams. Then Master Lovey Dovey turned to his father and said, and I say to my pappy poo poo, I love you more than ice cream. Then they all burst into floods of tears. Boo hoo hoo, vom. This went on and on and on, then on some more, on and on and on and on, oning and oning and oning. The assembly was going on all day. The tears flowed and flowed. Puddles of them formed, then pools, then lakes. The kids in the sports all soon realised that they were ankle deep in tears. I love you more than snowflakes. I love you more than rose petals. I love you more than sunshine. Boo hoo 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 hoo. This was dangerous. There was a very real chance they could drown in tears. Next, the kids were up to their knees. Slosh. Then they were up to their waists. Slosh. Before long, they were up to their chests. Slosh. Only their heads were bobbing above the tears. They screamed for help. Stop! Please! Help! No! I can't swim! They climbed up onto their chairs for safety until the tear level rose and rose and rose. They were forced to scramble up the bars on the walls. Up here! Quick! It's our only hope! Oh my word, what a lot of tears. The lovey doveys were in their own bubble of love utterly unaware of the mayhem they were causing. I love you more than summer meadows. I love you more than newborn bunnies. I love you more than Turkish delight. Boo-hoo-hoo! So, obviously, they were so oblivious, in fact, they didn't realise when the flood swept them off the ground. Still, they carried on with their declarations of love that they bobbed around in the sea of tears. I love you more than fresh baked croissants. I love you more than baby dolphins. I love you more than a nice comfy pair of slippers that have been warmed by an open fire. Boo hoo hoo! Tears and tears and more tears came. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh! Eventually, the doors to the sports hall couldn't stay shut any more. The lovey doveys were swept out of the hall on a tidal wave of their own tears. The three were carried through the playground, past the church, before streaming into the river. Splosh, splosh, splosh. Still they carried on their nonsense. I love you more than double cream. I love you more than baby hamsters. I love you more than dandelions. The river was wide and the water flowed fast and in no time the lovey doveys were swept far out to sea. For the first time in years, St Valentine's returned to normal. The school was so much more peaceful without this irritating family around. However, one lunchtime, many months later, the doors to the dining hall burst open. Boom! Boom! The kids stirred open-mouthed in shock. Gasp! Everyone had assumed that the lovey doveys had perished at sea. Oh no! They were very much alive. The trio staggered in, their clothes now dripping wet rags, all three of them sporting long, straggly beards. You'll be delighted to know we're alive, they all shouted to deafening silence from the kids. We cuddle woodle together for warmth, announced Master Lovey Dovey. We survived on huggy wuggies and kisses, announced Ma- Master, um, Mrs Lovey Dovey. We survived thanks to the power wower of love, concluded Mr Lovey Dovey. Oh dear. They're back. The lovey doveys were back, and lovey dovier than ever. And now it was the turn of all the kids to burst into floods of tears. Boo hoo hoo! Dear me. Certainly wouldn't like teachers like that at my school. Can't be having that at all. How annoying. I think it rains enough at Linden Green. It makes enough puddles for us to splash in as it is, doesn't it? Okay, guys, that's two stories down. I'll read you another story from the world's worst teachers next week. In the meantime, remember, if you see someone without a smile, give them one of yours and have a nice weekend. And I'll see you Monday. Bye bye.